all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods, and today we're going to do issue 103 of Build the Root Master, and looking at this issue, wow, there's a lot to do, and a lot to get right, so I don't know how long this is going to take me to do, I'm probably going to have to break it down into the sections of recordings as I do each bit, but yeah, we've got quite a lot to do in this issue, so definitely, with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, so the first section I can do over at the desk. Um, we've been given these uh, bits here, and basically we just need to slot this lens into there, just like that. It says it's a push fit connection. So I'll just try and push it down, just like that with my screwdriver. Okay, so the next thing we need to do we need to bring back across this section of the bus and basically need to put this into that section there as you can see just there flip it over ah, i knew it would do that because we need to screw it in from behind and that little lens has just decided to come out so we'll grab that again Put it in. Just gonna work it with my screwdriver. Okay. So we'll try and get it back on again. No, nope, it wants to keep coming out. This is definitely not a push fit connection, which it says it is. Because a push fit connection should stay in. Okay, so it's in place. And then what I'm going to do is working it from underneath with gravity, put it on like that. Okay, and that needs to be secured in with some AP screws. So we need two of them. So I'll just get loaded up on my screwdriver. Now they look quite small, so I'm probably going to go for my PH 0000, should I say, uh, wear a screwdriver. Just try the other one because now I look at them, they look, they look a bit bigger. Yes, so I can get them in with the, uh, the PH 0 screwdriver. doing them up not too tight and that's held in place just like that okay so we just move this to one side for a minute because the next thing we've got is a number plate and what it basically wants us to do um, is to bob the number plate bit into place and then I'm just gonna load up my screwdriver because we need to uh, secure this in place with some N M screws now these are absolutely tiny screws. That we're using. So that's the first one in. Let's just get the second one. And that's the second one in place. So the next thing we need to do, we need to bring back over this frame that we've been working on because we need to secure this to the bus. So that just bobs into place just like that. And then again, we need to screw this down with the very small NM screws. Now, to tell you the truth, we've been given a lot of screws in this issue. Uh, we've got FM. Uh, we've got GM, we've got MM, we've got NM, we've got TM, we've got WM, we've got AP, uh, DP, and last of all, JP. So, quite a lot of screws in this issue. Okay, so the last bit going on. Now, 
and that's now in place okay so the next bit we need to do we've got this bit of framework here now this is basically just going to slot onto here just like that but we need to secure that in place and that wants to be done with mm screws so we need three of them and this is really the last section i can do on the uh, rear end uh, on the desk with the bus um, because the rest is needed to be done over where the bus is so that's the first one in let's get the second uh, just pushing them two panels I should say it frames together and then I'm just going to try and tighten up there we go as much as I can a little bit of movement but I'm just sure when it's on the bus it won't do so this is the last uh, screw screw this framework together and that's the last screw in and that is what the framework uh, looks like for the back of the bus so the next thing I need to do is I need to be over at the bus because we've got some uh, bits to do so I'll see you at the bus okay guys I'm back here again because I missed out a stage uh, bad youtuber um, basically we've got this lens that needed to uh, be put in um, so I'm just gonna put that in place and then that needs to just be screwed in with N M screws yes definitely N M screws uh, yeah I made that mistake I sorry about that guys I don't know why I skipped over that uh, instruction but that's in place first one And that's the second one in place so yeah definitely this back framework is now done okay guys we're over at the bus as you can see uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to put some screws in place uh, we've got GM screws because we're now securing this framework in so I did have a screwdriver oh, it's over here and the first one it like wants us to do is the back one so I'm just going to try and line that up and get that screw into that okay that's not wanting to go in try again and that one's gone in uh, we're using GM screws for this so uh, General Motors uh, so yeah the only thing I'm finding is obviously we've got I've got to push down on the framework in order to get the screw in so, I'm doing my best and that one's in and then we've just got another three just down here to put in and it is coming along nicely is this bus Okay, that's the third one in. Okay, two more to go. To tell you the truth, as I'm screwing it down, they are getting easier. Because obviously, the framework is going into place, but 
it is taking some effort to get these into place I'll tell you that now and I can't see where that's gone so I'll just get another screw but I'll find that after because I uh, don't like losing screws everything about it okay and that's in place now it does ask you in the magazine uh, to take this back panel off because this wire needs to come downwards now when I put mine in I already did that so I don't have to do that section uh, of the build um, so that more or less scrubs out uh, section 9 section 10 section 11 and section 12 for me uh, so yeah uh, next we need to move on to section 13 which will be done in the next section Okay, so back at the bus again and um, ready to do the next bit. Now I've had to jump a little bit ahead. Um, I've got the roof section on the bus, um, but I had to do that off stream because uh, basically it was fitting the handrails and that has taken me a couple of hours to do. <laughs> so what we need to do next is we need to secure the roof and we've got a line of screw holes just at the top here that we're going to be using and we're doing this with some JP screws now I'm conscious that being up there and it's probably going to fall down and get all my screws mixed up so I'm moving it away because that's the kind of thing that would happen to me okay so I'm just going to follow it down with the JP screws Now a couple of these I did actually um, put in and my reason for that was I needed to hold the roof down um, while I did uh, the handrails because they were an absolute nightmare and every time I uh, This screw's not wanting to go in. Okay, we'll move on to the other side. So every time I um, wanted to put one in, the back ones would come out or something would like that happen, and it was just an absolute nightmare. Now these are not lining up the way they should be doing. I don't know if that's to do with the frame or what. Um Let's try one on the, uh, on the other side. And that's gone in. Maybe I just need to adjust a little bit. So we'll try again. I'll just try and get the screw in. So every time I put it in, it just wants to go downwards, which is not the way I want it to go on. So what I'll do is I'll come back to that and just continue with the other screws. I know there is a big problem with this model and things not lining up properly now the way they should be. Let's just try the other one at the far end. The first one that didn't want to go in. No, again, it just wants to go downwards. So, I don't know why that is, but I might have to leave them two screws out um, on this model. So, let's carry on down the line. Okay, that one's gone in. So just two more left to do on this side. That's another one in. What I might do 
is I might just address that uh, off camera and see why that's not uh, lining up properly. Get the next one in. Okay, then I need to move the bus around to do the other side. So I can do that with my uh, Lazy Susan. They've given us a lot of screws with this issue. See, the ones at the other side have gone in okay, so I don't know why that is. Okay, so this is the last one on this side to do. Okay, so I've got all them JP screws in now. The next thing it's asking us to do is we need to now screw the top down onto the bottom, and this is going to be done with some TM screws. Gosh, this is really going to make this bus strong by doing this. Okay, that's the first one in. Got a lot of these screws to put in. And then I'll stop the video because obviously uh, you don't want to see me just putting screws in a bush really. Um, so I'll stop the video and then I'll get all the rest of the screws in. So that's the third one in. So I'm going to stop the video guys and then you'll come back when it's all in. Okay so I've got all that screws down. It really does give this bus some rigidity when you've got them screws in. So the last thing we need to do is we just need to secure this bit here which is the uh, mirror and we just need to secure that in with some AP screws. Change screwdriver. That's that one in. And then one more to go, and wow. What an epic uh, build it has been today. Really, really epic. Get this last one in and then I'll be glad to put my screwdrivers away. I actually did fear this issue a little bit um, because of what we had to do but it's all now in place and everything's fine which is great. It's great that it's done. Okay and that is it for issue 103 everybody. 
Uh, yeah, thoughts on. Um, yeah, the, when you do put the roof on, it really does bring all the framework into shot and everything. So I'm really happy. So I can definitely say, put the screwdriver down. Issue 103 is done. Well, what a build that was. Uh, I started that about half past two and now it's nearly 20 to six. So yeah, that is a real massive issue to do, but I'm glad it's done, uh, as you can see behind me. And yeah, it really does bring it together, does uh, issue 103. So if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you're notified of any future videos that come on the channel. But guys, stay safe and bye for now.